Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> hey, y'all. It's your girl. And I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Yes, I'm back. I'm, I'm, I'm back. Ow. <gasps> okay, y'all. Today we have enough some burritos, baby. Some burritos. I think it was beef and cheese burritos. I don't even know the brand. Um, I had to get these. My kids love these. I usually, back when I was in Minneapolis, Minnesota, back at home, the corner stores would sell these, fried and everything, and I would just love them. My kids used to love going to buy burritos from the corner store. So anyway, I'm going to say my blessings and prayers, and we're going to dig in. <laughs> all right so let's dig on in i got like four of them right here i cooked a lot of them because my girls like to eat and their cousin is here too so i got me some frank's hot sauce on the side some ranch and a good old glass of water i'm staying away from the pop today at least right now Yes, did y'all like that right there? A little bit of hot sauce. Yes, you feel me? And I will. I got one of these um packets. You know, I keep like condiments from restaurants and stuff. You know, when the food go low, mm -hmm. not necessarily the food, but condiments, anything you may need. As a mother, you learn to improvise, honey. And I always save stuff like this from restaurants. Ketchup, mustard, mayo, hot sauce. I don't know why. I just do. So, y'all see how that looks? Good old burrito. Put some hot sauce on my burrito, baby. Yeah. All right, let's do a thumbnail if we can. I don't want to drop them, honey, because I'm a fatty. Because if it fall, I'm picking it up. <laughs> yes. So, y'all... OMG, the baby is growing. Lately, I've been having a lot of um, just growth pains. Let me give y'all the first bite. I say these are beef and cheese. Mmm. Mmm. Hot. So what I did, I put them in the microwave for like a minute or two to pre-cook them to make sure that they're all the way cooked. Cause we ain't got time for no food poisoning. And then I fry them. So. Now my kids won't eat them any other way. Y'all see that smoke? Mm. 
so yeah a lot of growing pains and um a lot of kicking and moving i remember in the beginning i was like i can't wait for a baby start moving because you as a mother first time mom or four time mom like me this is my fourth baby you still can't wait until the moving starts because that's the indication that the baby is safe and healthy and so you look forward to the baby kicking and moving around now honey <laughs> I be like, girl, if you don't stop, okay, I'm going to kick you back. <laughs> Mommy's definitely going to get you back. No, but it's just a beautiful feeling. Three more months. I'm just really appreciated with my face being not so poofy. Oh, that's good. I know that nose spreading a little bit, but that's okay. I've been trying to minimize the extra eating if I don't have to, y'all. I think I heard somebody say something. What was that? Why well, I got four burritos on this plate. Girl, that's for display, honey. But don't it look so good? This probably be my last one. Don't it look so good, y'all? Thanksgiving is over. Child, I ate 50,000 times. Excuse me, y'all. I enjoyed the time with my family. My parents, my brothers, my brother, my children and I, we had a ball. Good laughs, reminiscing. thought my sister was going to be here. Um, I know some of you guys met her a while back in the Wendy's video. Where we tried to. Well, I tried to. In my, the beginning of my pregnancy, I tried to do a. I think it was like a hundred nugget challenge or something like that. But to my surprise, she left and went back to Indiana. I was a little disappointed about that because I did want to see her. She's my little sister, the only sister I got left. You guys know I lost my sister, Tiffany, to breast cancer two years ago. It went so fast, that two years. But 
but she came to to me in the dream the other day the day of thanksgiving actually and i was just so surprised so when i woke up i was like oh she was she was letting me know she here i couldn't believe it I was mad because in the dream, she disappeared. And when she disappeared, that's when I woke up. I was like, okay, dang. It was real. It wasn't reality. But I guess the message of the day, you guys, today would be to forgive I know my sister Cherie that I'm talking about she left without saying goodbye and I know it's because we had a disagreement about a month ago Maybe a little over a month. Who knows? But the point is, it was a not so good situation. So, I definitely had to repent and ask for forgiveness. And I have to ask God to place it on my heart to forgive her. Because that's the right thing to do. And that's my sister, my blood sister. So, I love her. And I forgive her. And I just hope she forgives me too. In the heat of a moment of a fight or an argument, no one thinks they're wrong. And it's not till after the situation where you come to your senses after you cool down and you're like, that was wrong of me. And that's what I had to do. I had to tell myself, that was wrong of me. I don't know if I'm going to eat this whole thing, y'all. I just want another bite. So when she, uh, when I found out she left, I was saddened because I'm like, excuse me, I should have did what my heart told me to do in the beginning, which was text or call, which I did have my daughter text her before Thanksgiving and, um, I told her, text your auntie and tell her she's welcome to come over for Thanksgiving and eat with us. And my daughter did it and she was like, mommy, auntie said, okay, she's with it. She said she loves us. And so I thought I was going to see her, but when I did, I was like, I should have did it myself. We didn't really grow up together. I'm like 15 years older than her. She's 22. Did I just tell y'all my age? Honey. So, we weren't, grew up in the same household because my father had remarried. I had four other children outside of his first marriage to my mother with me and my brother. You guys have met him too in the Buffalo Wild Wing Challenge. 
I also mentioned him in one of my lives recently. He's a new book author. Um, the book is titled uh, Fate. But anyway, we loved each other. And we were just, we were the only girls out of six of us. We were the only girls. So she would just love when I would come visit. She stayed under me. It was like, almost like my daughter, you know. So... with life, life situations, and just because a family member is not who you think they should be, um, is not valuing who you think they should be, you should still love them because eventually they'll grow into themselves and they'll start to get it. I think I should have gave her more time and we all know, as adults, when you get 18, 21, you're, you're an adult, but you think you're grown and you don't want to hear nobody, what nobody got to say. And so I should have been more mature with just accepting who she is now and praying for her to grow into who I know God is destined for her to be. So, at the end of the day, like I said, the word of the day is forgiveness and just forgiving your loved ones because you never know. In my case, she's just out of town, but it could have been a case where she wasn't here with me anymore. Like my sister, my other sister. Excuse me. So, forgive. I love on your loved ones. Don't hold grudges because it is a sin. And accept people for who they are because we all have our own time to when we grow up, when we mature. And a lot of times the enemy will allow or throw so many circumstances in oppositions your way to distract you from the gift God has for you. Because, honey, the devil, the enemy knows when you are a chosen one. Trust and believe that. So, don't give up on anybody. I don't give up on anybody. Continue to pray for them. And love them with the long hand stick if you have to. But the point is to never give up on that person. Continue to pray for that person. And forgive. Because you can't be a Christian if you don't forgive. And that's just the bottom line. So, on that note, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I done ate three burritos. I'm full. I don't want to stuff myself and stretch my stomach. So, I'm out of here. Until next time, I love you all. If you have not already, click the bell. Click all on the bell, okay? Press that red button. If it's red, that means you haven't subscribed yet. And I want you to. So, go ahead and click it. Make sure you come back and visit. Like, comment, share. And I'll see you next time. To all my A1 Day Ones, I love y'all. Y'all are the reason that I do this. You guys are the encouragement that keeps me pushing. So, adios, amigos.